86% of women say they want a man to make the first move. 76% of men say that they are terrified of making the first move for fear of being seen as creepy. 20% of Gen Z say that a man approaching a woman in public always or usually constitutes harassment. Square that circle. Mm. 86% of women want a man to make the first move. 76% of men are terrified of making the first move. So what that means is guys know if they don't make the first move, nothing's going to happen. But that if they do make the first move, they're going to maybe be seen as creepy and they're terrified of being me too'd. Women know that they want a man to, f to make the first move. But if they, like they're, they're only 14% of them are actually going to go out and do it mm. on their behalf. So women cultivating receptiveness. I think is a good way to do this. There was this idea from uh, like Renaissance uh, Europe and the aristocracy in England where ladies would drop a handkerchief like in front of them. Like, oh, mom, mom. And go back over. Oh, thank you, Jack. Thank you so much. And that would begin, that would instigate it. But I think in a post Me Too world, it's important for girls to realize that like guys are on, like it's not no means no. It's anything that isn't, fuck yeah with a, a sign held above their head this is for any normal respectful guy is just terrified of being on the wrong side of some like fucking me too drama so like cultivating receptiveness i think is something that would make it way easier for guys yeah. to come up like treat every guy like a golden retriever like total idiot and probably needs like broader signals than you think that they do linger the eyes for longer and then yeah they'll end up eventually yeah. coming over. This could be dangerous, but what do you think about the people that say it's only harassment until you're an attractive guy? Well, I think it's very short-sighted to presume that someone who looks like Chris Hemsworth and someone who looks like a normal guy in the street is going to get the same reaction when they go up and start talking to anybody, a guy or a girl, right? Harassment, I think, is like, at least in that regard cat calling whatever well you know? that yeah but that bad. is yeah. like it doesn't matter whether you're chris hemsworth or not the the culture has now said that if you wolf whistle at a girl on the street regardless of who you are that's beyond the pale if you just treat people like people and go up to them and say hey i just wanted to say i, I hope you're having a really great day and like oh. i'd like yeah exactly yeah you know well look it's number? working it's working <laughs> it's working already you riz yeah. me up man <laughs> um anybody that does that Anybody that responds to that in a way that this made me feel unsafe, presuming it's not in a dark alley at 11 p.m. at mm. night and you're the only guy with a hood up or something. Again, like context matters. Anybody that has a problem with that, like it's unreasonable. Yeah. Joey Swall did like a, a service for the world when he started calling out those crazy gym TikTok things. Some girls were saying, a guy glancing over three times in 90 seconds constitutes harassment. And that went out on the internet. And the internet said, we don't think it does. We think you're full of shit. So now guys are like, oh, okay, well... There is a, I know that if I glance over no more than three times in 90 seconds, that's probably okay. And girls also think I'm not being harassed unless the guy glances over four times in 90 seconds or, you know, it created a barometer, it created a mm -hmm. box for this sort of a thing. But that was the world saying this hypersensitive concern that you have about guys looking over to you during your training session is unwarranted and that guy did nothing wrong. Like that to me shows that if someone isn't being creepy for the most part, and yes, is this mediated? Absolutely. You're going to get, if you come over and you're Alan Richer from fucking Reacher, like this just jacked dude, six foot five, looking like a Greek god, are you going to get more leeway? Yeah, absolutely. Of course you're going to get more leeway. But if you just presume don't do something stupid and don't do it in a dark alley, yeah. <laughs> See, I was saying how much of that is social awareness where people are losing that touch of being able to tell if someone else is uncomfortable. There are some situations that I could just intuitively feel this person isn't feeling it right now. Uh, maybe they're not as receptive to what I'm saying. I'm going to back off. And it's just, a you know, I guess a body language thing or you just kind of sense it. Mm. And it seems like some people are completely oblivious to this. And I could just I could look at the conversation and say, I know this person's not enjoying the conversation. This person has no idea. How could they not see that? But mm. I'm looking at it, this thing is so obvious. So do you think it's just a lack of social awareness that maybe people are can't pick up on these cues? I think definitely downstream from spending a lot of time on social media and video games and porn and stuff, we're just not as adept socially. Like everyone's become 12-year-old Chris in some regard, right? Just like uh, ungainly and I don't really know what I'm doing socially and stuff like that. And yeah, like, flirting especially and making new friends too it's like a delicate dance there's this sort of push and pull and there's like teasing and there's not and there's you know it's like a, it's a real delicate skill to build 
And if you don't have that, if you're not sufficiently dexterous with that, you can quite easily find yourself in, I didn't, I didn't even mean to do anything wrong. What did I do? And it's like, you, people didn't see it necessarily. And it's that, that's the concern. That's the fear that people have. People are more clumsy socially than they've ever been before. And the world is more sensitive to their clumsiness that if you do something which you didn't mean in a bad way, but it oversteps some sort of a mark socially or, or, or romantically or whatever it is, like you're going to know about it. It's the most sensitive we've ever been and maybe everyone's the most clumsy they've ever been. Like it's literally bull in China shop. Not necessarily good.